Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am going to review the new Becca palette. I don't know how new this is because here in Sweden it's not that easy to get a hold of Becca if you don't live near Sephora and we only have three Sephoras in our entire country and we don't have a website. So I have ordered this from a UK website and this is a collab between Becca and Chrissy Tagen. I th do think you pronounce it. And this is just stunning. So it looks like this. It comes in this like carton box. And we have this like gold uh, lettering where it says Becca. And then it's a little heart. And it just says Chrissy. So I'm not going to talk too much about the packaging. Because I want to get into this and try it. Because I'm super excited. So this is what it looks like. So it's like a, I don't know, it's like a uh, marble pinkish background. And then here we have uh, all of their shades. We see what's inside this little palette. And once again, it says Becca, but this time it's gold. And then we have a heart and then it says Chrissy once again. So we're gonna open this. I have to say that it's a little bit hard to open, especially if you have like fake nails. Uh, so it comes with this, Ooh, well, it comes with this big, big mirror, which is dirty as F because I have used it once I recorded this makeup right here, but we can live with that. So it comes with, with two highlighters and a blush and a bronzer. So the bronzer's name is Malibu Soleil Bronzer and the blush is called Heb Hebiscus Bloom? I don't know. This is called Rose Gold and this is called Beach Nectar. I don't know if you can buy the um, highlighters individually, like separate, but if you can, I will uh, write it down here in my description box so that you can buy it if you just want the highlighter. So you know that. I bought this for... I can never remember the price, maybe like 56 pounds, but I don't know. I will also leave it here somewhere just so you guys can see how much it is. But I thought that I would just dive in. I don't have anything on my face except for like foundation and stuff, but I don't have any highlight. I don't have any bronzer, nothing. So I'm going to start with the bronzer and I'm going to swatch it for you guys as well. I don't know if you can see because my I don't have autofocus on my ca my camera. But as you can see, it's not that dark actually. It's not and it's warm tone with just a hint of shimmer which is gold or it's gold shimmer. So I am just taking a maquillage uh, blush brush. So I'm just dipping into this one because I don't know how pigmented it is. I mean, the bronzer is, is nice, but it's a little bit too uh, pale, I think. I have a fake tan now, so it might be perfect like when I am not tan. It's cute, um, but I would like it to be just a little bit darker. So I'm also gonna take some in, on my forehead. I do think that you need a lot well, I do anyway. I need a lot of this just to make it appear. Okay, so I'm not a like huge fan of the bronzer. I think it's nice, it works, uh, it does what it's supposed to do. But it's definitely not my favorite. It's, it's a good bronzer, but no. Yeah, it's a little bit too pale for me. You have to go in like five times, ten times, and I'm so freaking... It's hard to blend out just here, I don't know why. I did use a very bad concealer, which is very dry, so it might have to do with that. So going on to the blush, I actually... I did hear a lot of people complain about it, I don't know why. I love these types of blushes, so I am very excited about this one. So I'm just dipping my brush and Tapping it off and let's see. I do know that it looks like my brush is dirty but it's not and this is a Morphe M. 
405. And you know that I love blush and always applies just a little bit too much and I think this is oh, amazing. I would say that it's like more suitable for summer but I actually love pink blushes like all year round. The blush I really really like. I think it's going to be one of my favorites this summer. It's mm, yeah, it's really nice. So now we have two highlighters and I'm going to use them both, but I'm going to swatch them just with my fingers so you can see a little bit. So this one right here is um rose gold and this one, ooh, this one is beach nectar. And I'm just gonna take, this is rose gold and peach nectar, no, beach nectar, sorry. So this is rose gold and beach nectar. So they are pretty similar. Let's just, so beach nectar and, I'm starting off with beach, no. Yeah, I'm starting off with beach nectar on this side. Yeah, it's pretty, but it didn't really pop as other Becca blushes does, or highlighters does. Oh, beautiful. You see that shine? Oh, it's just beautiful. So now I'm going in with the rose gold highlight on this side. I actually think I like be uh, Beach Nectar more just because this is more versatile and it's not as dark. I actually thought it would be different, but this is a little bit too dark and might not fit and one that's more pale than me. So I think that this is perfect. I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm also gonna take a little bit on my nails. And that's enough and then just a little bit here nah. mm, maybe now I'm just going in with my final thoughts do I think that this is worth it yes I do know that a lot of people compared it to the Jaclyn Hill palette and I don't have that I am not I have to be honest and say that I don't really know how it looks like so for me that doesn't have it and that doesn't have a lot of like Bika products I only have well of the highlighters I only have pearl and I recently got moonlight so this is actually I think this will be like my summer favorite and I'm gonna I love this blush I think it's beautiful I like I like I little I love this um, highlighter beach nectar but if you can buy the highlighters individually, you might want to um, buy it for just the highlight. But I think like if you just look at the packaging, I think it's stunning. I think it's beautiful. I think that it's a very nice highlight. So here we have Beach Nectar and here we have Rose Gold. I really like this. So yeah, and that was all from me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye guys.